Uh, there we go, right, we are recording. Hello again. Today is gonna to be a bit of a different video because we've been very, very busy. Come this way, there's a lot of wind noise here and people will be whinging about it. Come on, come on, quicker, quicker. I'm, I'm, this way, this way. I'm, I'm trying not to get too much bounce. <laughs> right, we've been doing a little bit of work this week on the T72 and uh, I've got so angry, it's unreal. Like, so, so angry. <laughs> I had to go come and do other things in between. Uh, we've also done some work on the FE405, or should we say we've mainly been working on that. But yeah, so we did some bits on the T72, which we'll show you now. We had trouble with the oil priming pump, which we fixed, and the alternator turned out to not actually have a problem with it. What we have worked out is on this, when you press to start it electrically, it primes the oil pressure and then engages a starter. But the oil priming pump was a straight short because the bearing had seized. So what was happening is, it was shorting out and then it didn't give the starter any power because everything was melting down. So now, we've now put the starter motor back on, fixed the oil priming pump. Now, now I've just got a small job of putting all the fans and all the back armor and all that business back on and all the pipe work and the wiring and the, and the fan. And Detritus. The yeah, so we've got to do that. And then hopefully we can try and start it electrically. Yeah, yeah. And you never know, when we start electrically, it might burn to the ground and solve a solar problem. <laughs> we started by putting the engine oil priming pump in the vice, gave it a good clean down so we could take it to bits. Which bit doesn't turn? Mm, oh. that, that bit, that bit is not turning. Oh, green Jackie. Does well, that's that turn worth, in there? To be fair, that's worth getting done properly. That has because a bit of movement in it. Because how deep this is. Careful, because that comes out, look. Ooh. I'd get that done properly. Oh, this is looking good. Mm. <laughs> oh dear. I wonder why that won't work it. <laughs> Actually, it's worn away. That looks yeah. perfectly fine to me. Yeah, so the rear bearing's okay-ish. Front bearing, knock it. It's got the new bearing in there. That's a lot less. That one's knackered. All right. Definitely the way to do that. That has done that. Don't. They're not into um, rubber seals. They seem to like those fibre seals a lot more. This bench is painting the backside. <sighs> that is certainly a lot better than it was. Well, it turns. Yeah, before. <laughs> before, that was absolutely, you couldn't turn it with the Stilson, could you? Right. So it's the next thing to do is this bearing in the rear. Look at him, that's cute. So the parts for this repair, the bigger yeah. one was five pounds and Leicester bearings had everything in stock and the little bomb was three quid. Maybe Remember it's that? named that? Um, Someone's going to cry at how I put this in. Well, you're hitting the outer race, so you're not really doing anything wrong. Oh, you should use a socket and hit it in square. And I hit the centre, that's it, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, that's in. Now, I've just got to repair this spring. So in here, there's these little springs that push down on the brushes and I see this one is broken because it's rotted away so I'm going to have to see if I can repair it and then fit it on there and we are good to go spring steel isn't the easiest to work with so what are you doing well because this end rotted off I'm having to <sighs> this spring isn't quite going to be as good as it's as its mates but 
I'm trying to. Christ, your friends are focused. It's crap, and it? it's utter junk. Your iPhone, if you're listening. Yeah, the new out. iPhone. What are you doing? It's worse than terrible, isn't it? You see, well, that is now going to go in there. <laughs> Some would have thought that that was knackered, but that's going to work just fine. I just need to put a split pin on there. I might just angle that round a bit more. Look, look, he's so small, I can't even zoom in on him. To be fair, I, I think that's actually perfect. It's a, a good job it's got a load of zoom, you're so short. <laughs> right, where's the WD-40? I'm just going to put a bit of WD-40 in there. WD-40? Yes, please. Oh, yes. The brush is working a treat now. That one could not have done anything, that, that brush, because, well... The, uh, we're only doing that because they're just a little bit dry. Just help with fitting it. Well, they're working a treat, right? Okay. Little um, split pin, and then that is ready to go back together. Brushes are all okay. Ah, she's looking pretty good. Nothing damaged. Fingers crossed that'll still spin. Yeah. Sounding like a motor. We got a little quarter inch. Yeah. That's just the WD forty. working pretty well. That's powerful, that motor. Look at when it starts. Well, just get this bit out. Runs down nice as well. See if you can hold the end of it and try it. Oh, yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah, great idea. And that is all built back up, ready to fit on the T72. Now we've just got to try and fix the alternator slash starter motor. First test of T72 starter motor starting on 12, then going up to 24. To save editing all the beeps and the foul language, I'm just going to cut straight to the pump fitted back in the tank and just test firing it for the first time. Oh, what a machine. Oh, fantastic. It's not done that for a long time. We've got the pump in and we've tested that and we've got oil pressure. And we've now got the alternator starter motor thing back in. And what we want to do is just connect it up, but we're not going to put the little shaft on that connects it to the gearbox that then starts the engine. We're going to try and just spin it up and then we can work out. We know on the floor, on the jump pack, it spins up fine. So if it doesn't spin up fine, we know it's electrical system with the vehicle, not, not the starter. And then if it spins up fine, we'll then connect that shaft and I think all that was wrong was the fact that little pump was shorting out and it was making that not work so well as well. But who knows? I hope it was badly, uh, badly explained, but nobody will get the idea. Yeah. That worked. So 
here we are. Electric start button. So that should hit the oil pump first, which will see some pressure arrive. Then engage the starter. Sounds like it's working. Right, as always, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you again in another video. And of course, we've also still got more to do on this. When's this going? 28th of May. 28th of May. I think. No, that's when it. That's when the boat leaves. Ah, well, it probably ought to be at the port before then. Well, probably, yeah. <laughs> and we still need Tip to come back and just finish off a few little pieces. Pieces? Pieces. <laughs> like pieces, but with bees in them. Got you. Fuzzy um, bees or letter bees? If you, can, if you can't hear it, Adam in the background is losing his shit with the T-72. I think, I don't think that ladder was there a minute ago, was it? Let's see where he is. I can't see him, so I think he's left. He's gone. It hasn't changed. <laughs>